Hello fellow travelers, this is Mickey Gold. My dog's on a little bit of a rampage, so if you hear scrambling nails across the floor, he's uh, running around and he decided this is the time. I've already tried to record this video a few times, so he's running around and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna let it flow. So today I wanted to talk to you about your energy and a couple ways to, I guess the term would be hack your energy. Take advantage of our cycles. Now we have a cycle before we drift off to sleep that we're already in that hypnotic state, that state that we work on either in meditation or hypnosis. We're trying to get that, that conscious mind to leave us alone. We're trying to bore it to sleep so that we could work with our conscious mind. Now, we also have this cycle where our subconscious mind is really active when we first wake up in the morning. And then also at times, if you wake up in the middle of the night, this is again, you know, you could do this to drift back off to sleep or you can take advantage of the fact that you just woke up. So what I like to do and what I've been practicing lately is when I first get up, and this could be before or after your alarm goes off because I don't know about you, but I used to, when I had to get up for an alarm, I would wake up like five, 10 minutes before my alarm and I'd be like, oh man, this is awful. You know, cause you don't want to go back to sleep because then you kind of feel a little weird if you get woken up by your alarm in the middle of a dream, it's a little jarring. So I would kind of be like, ah, oh, really? So instead of that, oh, really? What I've been doing is either, I have a couple of different things and whatever works for you. One is programming your day, setting your day up. You know what you're going to do. And it might be go to the couch. You know, it might be very different right now in uh, sheltering in place. However, imagine yourself doing what you're going to do throughout the day and your best and your highest and you feel really good and you've accomplished things or you've created things. See what you would like your day to be like. So that's one thing that we can do when we first wake up. The other thing is you can take and scan your body. Just check and see how your body's doing and breathe like we've done in some of our meditations. Breathe, exhale, releasing anything that doesn't serve us. Inhale, bringing something into our body we need. So that's another thing that we could be doing. Uh, something else is being grateful. Make a list. Now, it can be grateful for things you have. It can be grateful that you your body parts. You could go through, I have toes, I have this, I have that. No matter if you love them, if you think, oh, I have the prettiest toes ever, or I don't have the prettiest toes, you have them. So you can kind of go through your body and be grateful that you have your parts. And then maybe tell your parts how beautiful they are, or, or thank your parts for being your parts, or apologize for all the times that you made those parts feel ugly, because without them, you'd be in a bad position. So that's for waking up. So there's a couple little things you can do upon waking up. And you can also do things that make up your own stuff. You could also have a list of affirmations by the side of your bed that you could run through to, as well. Or after you do this, you could also journal. This is also a great use, you know, dream journal. Write down the things that you can remember from your dreams. Not that you're going to predict anything with your dreams, but it's also kind of neat to see like, what did I dream about last week? You know, because sometimes you have a really cool dream and you're like, oh, and then you can't remember by the time, you know, a couple hours later. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can do all these things too. You can run through the same things that we suggested for waking up in the morning. And now before going to bed, you have a different opportunity here. You can go through your day. So go through your regular day in black and white and just run it through very flat, no sound, no nothing, just kind of run through your day. Now, if there was stuff in your day that you weren't very happy about, this is the perfect thing to do is revise your day. Make your day exactly the way you wanted to make it. So if your day, if you did the morning wake up and you, you know, stated how you like your day and it didn't quite meet what you wanted it to look like, then you can take this moment, 
go back through in color, starting from the moment you woke up, go through in color in full sound and full everything. Put all of your feeling, tasting, touching, all your senses into this. Make a soundtrack, you know, very big, like soundtrack, you know, um, whatever works for you and redo your day exactly how you'd like it to be, whether it be what you wish you would have said, what you wish you would have done or whatever it is. So that way you feel accomplished. You feel amazing as you drift off to sleep. You also could do affirmations. You also could do breath work. You could be doing that four, seven, eight breath. Anything that makes you feel good, you can program your mind. This is a great time to get rid of, help start getting rid of addictions or things that you don't enjoy about yourself or increase what you do enjoy about yourself or progressively relax your body, go through. And again, you can say thank you. You can say sorry, whatever works for you. Now, here's something else I'd like to talk to you about. And this is something, try it, don't try it. I tend to have a place that I go to and it's kind of important that you have your own little place besides your house. I really love my house. Don't get me wrong. My house is adorable and cute and is the perfect house for me at this current time. However, I like going to, I've been taking shamanism courses and I have been initiated into several different types of shamanism. And the gal who I've been taking courses from, she has us all and all the courses go to this crystal cave. And she set this cave up for us and we can add our own little touches, but there's a person at the front door that greets you or at the mouth of the cave that greets you and gives you blessings as you walk in and then gives you blessings as you walk out, walk out. And there's a fire going in this big old cave and there's bowls of different things like flowers and herbs and stuff you can throw into the fire. There's always people, there's, cause time in shamanism, much like other healing, energetic healing modalities is not linear. So you can be sitting with someone who was there 10 years ago and be holding their hands. So you can get the power, the energy of someone else, something else. And there's a fire going, you can work with people. I tend to do my dropping my tubes down, opening my crown chakra and sending my heart energy out through the whole circle. Um, but, and I'm not going to give you all that I do, but do your own thing. It doesn't have to be a cave. It can be the desert. It can be the forest, or you can even, before I did the shamanism work, I used to make up my own places and this doesn't have to follow any of the regular laws of physics. This can be the grass is blue. The sky is purple. It can be whatever you like it to be. Some place that's your own, some place that you build energy into and some place that you can go anytime you need to keep building this energy, keep building this high vibration. So all you have to do is think about this spot. And so you can do these morning things and the evening things or waking up in the middle of the night things in this spot if you'd like to. And for me, I find that helps amplify. Now you can have, I know you won't have necessarily fellow students, but you can know that you can have me there or you can have whoever you find as a teacher or know that there are fellow travelers and that they can all be sitting there with you or people you admire from history or whatever it is can be sitting there holding your hand. Because again, time's irrelevant, space is irrelevant. We can all imagine, even though I'm filming this at a certain time, you can imagine that you're sitting here right with me right now. And when we do some live meditations or some live to video meditations, I will have you imagine you are in the room with me and that we're here together and we're working on energy and that everybody else who is watching the video, whether it's now or 10 years or 10 days from now, that all energy is all here. That that's what energy can do for us. And like I said, in these moments, when we're dealing with our subconscious mind, science, physics, all these rules of reality don't apply. So take advantage, 
enjoy. You don't have to always meditate in the proper way, lighting the candles, spending a certain amount of time. If you spend five minutes in the first thing in the morning and five minutes drifting off to sleep, that's 10 minutes. And you can also, you can add that to your traditional meditation practice, or you can make it your own. The world's changing, the energy's changing, the vibration of our planet is changing. So how we meditate and how people meditated before might not be the same. Make this your own because the best way to have a great practice, whether it be a traditional meditation practice or any practice, is if you make it your own and you make it enjoyable. So I hope that these tips and the tips that I offer in the future and the tips that I've offered in the past, I hope some of these help spark something in you and help you further along on your journey because that's that's why I'm here is to help you along your journey, point a few things out, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace, love, namaste.